What's going on guys, in this video I'm going to be going over a pure finisher build on 2k20, but before I get into the video, don't forget to like for good luck in your next park game, and also subscribe for more content. So, this build right here, um, you know, you obviously need a finishing tree, some sort of finishing breakdown to it, and you could go full finisher, but um, as I'm going to show you in later in the build, you know, it's probably best to go finishing and defensive rebounding because, you know, you need that driving dunk high, which uh, doesn't really happen in any other build really besides the defensing defensive one. And it kind of, this build is going to kind of give you an overall, so you could be kind of good at everything. So in terms of physical profile, you could go this top one with the highest agility, but um, you're going to want to go the agility vertical one because it's just simply the best one because you get pretty high vertical at 90, pretty good speed at 93, pretty good acceleration at um, 78, and excuse me, that speed's 83. But um, moving on here to where we're actually allocating the points, so close shot, driving layup, driving dunk could be all the way up. Standing dunk could be at 44, actually, and we'll go over that later in the video, but um, shooting all the way up, so your guy is a decent shooter and you get seven shooting bads. Playmaking, somewhat high, everything's up, and you get 12 badges, but your ball handling and pass accuracy isn't that high. And then in terms of defense, we're going to do perimeter defense, lateral quickness, and then our rebounding all the way up to get 15 defensive badges. And then this last part right here, these last few, you could just put on standing dunk or interior D, it doesn't matter. And then in terms of height, we're going to stick with 6'7", because if you go higher or lower, you kind of just lose things that we need. And then in terms of weight, we're going to go exactly to 181, because if you go to 180, you lose that strength. If you go to 181, you get the acceleration, you get the vertical, which is very, very helpful. And then in terms of wingspan, um, we're going to crank this all the way up because if you just go lower, your guy's not going to be able to get any boards. Um, but the only bad part about this is that you do lose some shooting. And then we are going to make a slasher or a slashing um, playmaking. We're not slash playmaking, a slashing um, overall uh, with our... Uh, uh, takeover. God, I couldn't think of the word for that for our takeover. And then right here, I'm going to show you guys what we would look like if we were 99 overall with all the badges and everything like that. So obviously at 99, you know, we're a good finisher, we're a decent shooter, we're an okay playmaker, and we're good on defense too. So um, in terms of what finishing badges to do, so these are just some that I think you should just have on this build, kind of regardless of what you want to put them at, you know, bronze, silver, gold, hall of fame. So um, you know, Acrobat, Consistent Finisher, Contact Finisher, those are probably all going to be needed. Um, fancy Footwork's really good. Fast Break Finisher is kind of fun, but you don't really need that. It's not necessary. Um, Giant Slayer is necessary. Um, Lob City Finisher, I'm putting on this build specifically because it's just fun. It's good. Um, you know, it's not probably worth getting past Bronze or Silver, but um, Pro Touch you're also probably going to need as well on this one. But um, the two main ones you're going to want here are Consistent and Contact. And then also Giant Slayer Hall of Fame is probably going to be needed. So um, with that, you know, you could get rid of some, you could add some. I'd probably recommend doing Fancy Footwork or Pro Touch to Silver. Put that Giant Slayer either on Hall of Fame or Gold. But again, it's kind of really up to you what you see working with your build the best. I mean, you could even just get rid of Acrobat if you wanted or Lob City Finisher. But um, in my opinion, this is probably going to be the best with the finishing badges that we had. Now, of course, if we had more, I'd probably put Fancy Footwork, Pro Touch, on gold acrobat on silver but you know we just don't have them so that's okay though i think this one is going to be pretty good but the biggest ones are consistent contact and giant finisher or giant slayer so in terms of defense so these are some that you're just going to need so chase down artists very very helpful clamps very helpful as well intimidator most just op glitchy defensive perks out there and then this guy we're going to want him to get rebounds be able to guard out at the point but also be able to guard down low so we have rim protector gold rebound chaser gold intimidator hall of fame you could put heart crusher on it's a good badge but um in this build we're probably not going to end up using it um, and then clamps, you know, our defensive leader, another decent one, but we're not going to get it to Hall of Fame, so it's kind of useless. But what we are going to get to Hall of Fame is clamps. So that right there uses all of our badges. You know, you could add one more somewhere else instead of chase down artists, but this is what we're going with here. So he's able to guard down low and up top. Now in terms of playmaking badges, so we're pretty much just going to want badges that make our ball handling a little bit better and just make it so we can just drive the net quicker. 
So quick first step is just going to be an obvious gold. Um, unpluckable is just going to be another gold one because you just don't want the ball stolen from you. Stop and go. This can be gold. It doesn't have to be, but um, downhill, you know, it's not helpful, obviously, in two-on-two -two park, but if you're just playing pretty much any other game mode, it is going to help you out. You're going to be able to get down the court a lot faster. And then in terms of shooting badges, you know, our guy's not that great of a shooter, but we will be able to make some mid-range shots. So quick draw silver is pretty much needed just because it's just necessary for you to get out uh, the ball out of your hands quickly. Then in terms of what else you want to do, you could make this a corner specialist build, put that on gold, but I don't really like doing that. So um, we're going to put it on dead eye, green machine, quick draw, and range extender. And how you want to allocate these is totally up to you, but I would highly, highly recommend going um, quick draw at least to silver. But um, other than that, guys, it's really if this video, you know, um, I hope you guys enjoyed. So this is just a pure finishing forward build. You don't really see a lot of these. You see a whole lot more slashers, but I like this one a lot. But other than that, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed.